Welcome to Cliffy's Kitchen again guys. It's a pleasure being back with you. What are we doing for you today? Well a very simple drink. We say simple probably because we are accustomed to it but it's a drink that is liked all over where people do this kind of drink. It's called the sorrel, making sorrel drink. Of course let me take you through the process of how we get it done and you're gonna find that if you try what I do today you're gonna be having customers. So come with me as I take you through the ropes. So especially if you're new, we're gonna ask you for your support. Hit the like button and most of all, the subscribe button down there and give us your support. We appreciate it a whole lot. For our sorrel drink, this is really what our um, material looks like to, to make it. To begin with, we have sorrel, which is a must. I'm using two packs, right? Because I'm making five liters of drink and one of that pack can actually do you three liters but for a nice really strong tasty drink I'm doing a little less so I'm doing five liters of drink with two pack of that sorrel. I am also using a few seeds of pimento berries maybe about a dozen seeds or so. I'm using some red label wine helps to give it nice flavor and one of the things that you cannot have your sorrel without if you can take it is really rum. Some people do it with rum, some do it without. But to us who use the rum, we say that it's not the real sorrel if it doesn't have the rum. That's how we are. And of course, we cannot leave out ginger. I'm using half a pound of ginger in that amount of water, five liters of water. So I'm using half a pound of ginger, as you can see there. That will make you a really beautiful drink, depending on how you apply your ingredients and put them together. A drink that you would want to have all year round. So let me get them into the water right now. Okay, we want the most out of our ginger, as we want to say, boiling it for a long time. So in order to get the most flavor out of it, we're gonna crush them. So we'll put the pieces in this little crusher and we'll do something like this. Okay, notice it's crushed, it's opened, so you can always get the juice out of your ginger when you do them like that. And the process continues, we will crush all of these before putting them into the pot. Alright? Alright, so here is my water for the sorrel, it's boiling. Usually a lot of people just use pour hot water on the sorrel in a container but I'm gonna be putting my sorrel in this boiling water and then I turn it off right so first I'm gonna be putting in um, the pimento okay and here a few pieces of clove and my ginger And that's all of half a pound. And now the main ingredient, and that is the sorrel. We're gonna be just making sure that everything is submerged. And no, you notice that rich sorrel I'm gonna turn off my fire right now because you don't actually cook sorrel, you literally let it seep, but you make sure that your water is really boiling, just like how this one is boiling. So I'm gonna turn off my heat right now. And then I'll cover up, and this is gonna seep for maybe another six, seven hours before we come to finish putting it together. Okay, well, here is it now with our pot of sorrel. Um, the last time you saw it is when it was full and was boiling and we covered down for it to seep and get cool so we could handle it. We have so far poured out that jug as you can see there in the light from this spot. And what is left in here, we are still going to take out some more and after we take out some more juice then we are going to go in with our hand and squeeze out as much as we can. All right, so using a spoon here, we are pouring some more juice in this jug. The 
this sorrel looks so rich it, and it is because we really use a lot to make sure that we get a good consistency and a good flavor from the sorrel buds itself I'm now gonna go in with my hands to do the squeezing out so that we can really get much more from our sorrel If you notice in the blender here, um, it has some ginger um, taken out of the pot. They were already boiled in the sorrel, but you know a lot of flavor is still in them. And we want our sorrel to be really strong and ginger flavor. So um, I've selected these to be blended out. I'm now gonna pour um, the rest of my juice here along with some little pieces to take care of that blending. From that, we're gonna get maximum flavor from our ginger. All right, now that we've finished blending, we're gonna strain this into our main container here. And remember, this process is really, it's giving our sorrel some body and it's giving us the maximum flavor from the ginger. When we add later on a little rum and a little wine to this ginger flavor, you won't have it any better than that. So in the pot here, um, the ginger flavor in this is, is, is um, intense, um, very, very high. We need to get all of that sorrel into this pot so that we have a uniform taste. So I'm gonna pour it back together. Okay, and we do this. Okay, I'm going in with mixing my sorrel now. I'm using granulated sugar, that's my choice. Um, you can use brown sugar or you can use granulated. Granulated is my choice. This is four pounds, and I know for sure that I will need at least two pounds from this to sweeten this amount. So I'm just gonna pour and judge it. Okay. Yeah, he's like it. So this is um, half a cup of rum and one cup of wine and this is a red label wine and we're gonna pour it into the drink to really see what it does for it and we let you know. Remember the quantity of rum and our wine that you put is totally up to what you can take. Some of us don't do alcohol, but for those who do, we are giving you a reasonable amount in a quantity like this. This is at least um, six liter of juice by the time we are finished. We started with five, but we are ending up with at least about six because um, it was really so strong. We had to add some boiling water and that brings us to this quantity. Well, now that I've properly mixed out all the ingredients in this, it's time to have a taste because you need to know the result. Of course, this taste is not just going to be a little teaspoon. It's going to be a bigger taste than that. Okay. Yeah, this tastes good. Really tastes good. Seems like Everything here really works so well. Thanks for watching this sorrel video guys. We trust you have found some value in it. If you have, 
show the love by liking, subscribing, and sharing the video with your friends. Also, we appreciate your comments. Just put it in the section below. We can see what you are thinking. And you can make suggestions as to what you want us to do next. Remember too, we have our Facebook page and our Instagram page. Let us know what you think about it and just stay with us. We continue to work with you and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.